what happens when you have nothing to say and you see that you've come to the other side of the stream that you stood by a week ago and you find even on the other side you are in exactly the same place as you were before what happens when you accept yourself and find that through that accepting there was such a limitless void of your non-acceptance before that you were even degrading yourself from within when we don't support ourselves we are holding ourselves back pushing ourselves down and saying you're not worthy you can't do that look at those people they're great, they have it all, they can do whatever they want, but no, you can't do that because you're small and you're insignificant. And why do we do that? Of course, there are many reasons. I can't think of any right now. It's absurd. We are our best supporter, our closest loves. We are the ones that know ourselves the best. We are the ones that should lift ourselves up high and see the glory of what we are from the inside and stream that out to the world saying, thank you world, I love you, I love me, I am a sun, here I am and I shine. And nature nature is as it is. It's completely as it is. And it teaches us to be as we are. But when we're away from nature so long, when we hide ourselves in boxes and cars and walk on cement and rubber shoes, how can we see what nature is teaching us? To go back back to nature and sit sit in her fields, her forests, her deserts, her jungles, her waters and see how she flows for she knows it's beyond knowing it's boundless being completely completely being a tree completely being a stream completely being a snowflake no matter how big or small if you be it completely you can do no wrong